Creating a tough waterproof coating requires the right materials. Whether you're coating the bottom of a boat, an animal trough, or a cinder block wall, the right protection can make all the difference. One product designed for this purpose is Coat-It. Coat-It is a tough epoxy containing carbon for abrasion resistance and Kevlar for toughness. This video will show you how it works. Before mixing, the surface you wish to coat should be properly prepared. When bonding to steel, aluminum, or other metals, the surface should be sanded or cleaned with a Scotch-Brite pad. Then it should be treated with marine phosphoric acid such as navel jelly or aluminum bright, depending on the metal, to remove any oxidation. Follow the directions of these products carefully. Wood should be prepared by sanding or removing any loose paint or contaminants. Then remove the loose wood dust. When coating concrete, grease, oil, or loose paint will prevent good bonding of coated. The surface should be cleaned thoroughly first. The same is true of cinder block, brick, or other hard surfaces. Gouges or holes can be repaired with Goop Marine Epoxy Paste. It is a two-part epoxy which should be mixed in the cup provided in the package. Since it is epoxy like coat it, it does not need to be fully cured before going on to the next step of applying the coat it. The coat it and the marine epoxy paste will bond together. As with coat it, follow the directions carefully. Now we are ready to apply coat it. As with all epoxies, coat it has two parts, a resin and a hardener. The resin and hardener must be mixed to the proper ratio or the finished product will be degraded and may not even cure. The larger of the two containers is the resin. It has enough empty space to allow you to pour the hardener directly into the resin can for mixing. If you are mixing smaller quantities, the mix ratio is seven parts of resin to one part of hardener by weight. An inexpensive postage scale can be used for weighing. Once combined, mix thoroughly for two to three minutes, being careful to scrape the sides and the bottom of the container. Thorough mixing cannot be overemphasized. Coat it can now be applied to the prepared surface. Coat it is fairly viscous, so brushing can be a challenge. If the brush bristles are too soft, use a disposable brush and cut the bristles down. Often, a squeegee is a better choice. A characteristic of coat it is that after a time it thickens before it hardens. Thickened material left behind in the container can then be used for areas that need special attention. At 70 degrees, coat it will be fully cured in 10 to 12 hours. At lower temperatures, cure time can be much longer, and at higher temperatures, it will be shorter. A second coat of coat it can be added after the first coat gels if desired. Uncured coat it can be cleaned from tools with acetone or lacquer thinner. If the conditions are cold and humid, Coat it can form an oily feeling coating upon the surface. This can be easily washed off with a scrub pad and a little soap and water. Once cured, coat it forms a tough waterproof barrier. To demonstrate the waterproof nature of coat it, we coated the inside of this cardboard box. 24 hours later, our cardboard box shows no sign of water penetration. Because of its waterproof characteristics, coat it can be used above or below the water line. Coat it comes in a two pound kit, which will cover about 20 square feet, and in an eight pound kit, which will cover about 80 square feet. Coat it, the all purpose waterproof epoxy sealer, is available at Tap Plastics. Tap, tap plastics, the fantastic. Plastic, please.